Hello again, loves Rebecca here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to day seven of Follow a Sketch of February that is put on by Scrapping Reflections here on YouTube and Facebook and is the the owner is Sandy Ravinsky and check out her shop, pick up some good stencils. She's got all the fun at Coco Vanilla Studio, new releases. She's my total dealer for that. Um, today's sketch is right here. So it looks like base six inch tall by four inch wide. So it looks like it's a smaller one, but we're going to make a 12 by 12. I am going to do the band. It looks like we've got a band here and then a band over here, unless I've just got my screenshot very, very messed up. Um, and then it looks like a cluster of photos. I just have the one photo. And so I need to get a new wardrobe for winter. This is a coat. It's one of those tweed. It's a nice little dress coat. Um, very, very warm. However, it's probably six or seven years old and I was quite heavier back then. So the coat makes me look like I'm, uh, you know, huge, which is kind of funny. And my husband looks like he's a homeless person. Uh, we laughed at each other all night long, but we did go to the St. Louis um, Botanical Gardens. They had a garden. It's called Garden Glow, hence the glow behind us. And it's just all kinds of Christmas lights. And it was cold, but not as cold as it has been. But it was beautiful. So this is our little pijor. And my husband always wears a leather coat. If anybody ever knows, you don't wear leather coats in the wintertime because it gets cold. So we are going to use a, one of my flavors of the month kits from the scrap room and it is the 49th and market that I have been just dying to dig into so we've got some two pieces of blackbird cardstock and then I also get the um, double shot and the I get the embellishment kit and the pattern paper kit so we've got this gorge one here which I'm thinking about potentially fussy cutting those out. Okay. Maybe adding them to that paper. Why do I feel like I've seen one of the design team members do that? Did she? Did, did Shannon Aller do that? I don't remember. It's been a while since I've seen layouts done with this kit. Um, oh, that one's pretty too though. So I think we're going to switch that up. <laughs> oh, I love the plaid. I love everything. Okay. So I think we're going to go with those two. And then we use the black cardstock to mat. I got so used to only being able to like use one 12 by 12 from Baby Got Scraps that I keep like kind of freaking out when I pull something else in. So you also know. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually, instead of the layout going like that way, I'm just gonna kind of use this as my bands there. So we'll still have like the photo in the same area and we'll get some of those florals on there and we can even come in with a, with a band or something somewhere. I might be able to get a band out of that. I probably can, yeah, okay. Look, it's all coming together. So I also have the rub-ons and I have a little plethora here of some embellishments. But what we're gonna do first is start cutting off branding strips. Okay, I have got so much stuff just sitting around. Let's put the extra packaging up there. All right. So we are going to cut the branding strips off here. And I'm going to get this paper as well so that I can map my photo. Um, and we'll cut the branding strip off of this one. Oh, that did not turn out well for me. All right, so we want to come in. I'm literally just going to go. I was not prepared for how thick this paper was going to be, you guys. So I'm going to come in a quarter inch on each side because I do like the way that it is a central design. So it'll end up being 11 and a half by 11 and a half. This 
this paper is so stinking thick. And I love it. And that is the um, Christmas Spectacular, the Spirit one. Oh, well. We can use that piece, but I cannot use any of these that would actually make sense. All right. So we've got that. I don't need to cut the branding strip off of that because we're just going to fussy cut that stuff out. I do need to come in and trim off my mistake. So I have a question for you guys. Do you guys, like when you're scrapping, what do you binge watch? So um, I binge watch YouTube right before I go to bed. Like it's my, my bedtime thing. Um, so I get a few layouts in or a few videos in every night. And then sometimes I listen to them like their podcasts while I'm at work. But um, so while I'm scrapping, I actually put a TV show on. What do you guys watch? What do you recommend? Because I need, I like... I'm like, I like sci-fi. I like all the fun, weird things. I like hospital shows. What do you got? All right, and you know my product focus for the month is these little pocket cards. So let's see. I bring that in. Oh, you know what? I don't want to bring black in because I'm going to gut that paper. Those are all mm, not my best choice there, was it? There is holiday, but there's no Christmas in there. That's the thing. Do, 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 do. So let's just check out green. All right. So I'm going to go through this and try to find some of these greens that will go um, figure some of this out Can definitely I've been fussy cutting those cameras out in like lots and then those little records I do see if we've got some kind of title that we could get what did that say if I do say so myself, I like that one. We'll fussy cut that out. I don't know why I threw it over there. And this one's now moving into more of a. That's going over here. So basically, I'm fussy cutting all of them. So yay. And then where's red? <laughs> oh, right here. What do we have in the way of red? Well, it's definitely not summertime. That's kind of funny. Let's see if we can get the whole no filter. Because you know everybody uses filters. All right. So we've got some of those. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fussy cut this. I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut all of this out and get this gutted, map my photo, and then we'll be back. All right, so I've got these fussy cut out. I've got my little pile of fussy cut over here. I've got this all popped up on a whole bunch of foam. So I th what we're thinking is I'm going to put this right there in that corner. It is all matted as well. And this over here, I was able to get that little piece out of there. And get this guy under there. And then the photo. I'm just going to tuck right in this general area. And then I'm going to use the branding strips and I'm going to go ahead and take this one and we're going to tuck it on this side and then we're going to take this one and we're going to piece it together with all the little pieces that we have because that's how we're rolling. Um, so we're just going to get this part down. Okay. 
stick it and I'm making it go right in there. And then this one, I need to cut off right there. We're just, you know, we're going to eyeball it. And get it on there. So we're going to run it this way so that more of the white is actually just covered up top, right? Just butt it right up against that one and then I do need to put this over because I just remembered that I forgot to do that and I always seal this off. That's where I gutted the paper to go ahead and match the photo. Well that is unfortunate amount of whoa. Washy. Almost dropped the whole little drawer that I keep, like just spare washi in. That's it's almost out, so I'm just trying to get it used up. But I also want to make sure that the, the page is sealed down. Okay, and then. Come in this guy. I'm gonna run that right there as well. Oh, I keep pushing it down at the wrong angle. All right, and then we get this little guy on here. Guys, is it going to cover? Put it right here. Because the photo should come in. Oh, that is so sad on every level. All right. We'll figure that out. What if? Perfect. I'll just pop that right there. Okay, so the other thing that I want to do is, so we know this is going there. This is going here. Photos go in here ish. Okay, I would like to get some of some of the red on the background there. So we're gonna go ahead and peel off these little guys. I'm just going in and just kind of cutting. As I can, so I feel like we need to get one okay so that is gonna sit there we need to get this right about here and it comes with a really cute uh oh I just lost it oh that's gone <laughs> It slid right there. You can't see it, but it slid right underneath my glass mat. So I'll have to grab my glass mat. So we'll just grab my bone folder and just rub the rub on. All right. And then I just kind of start peeling it up. And you will see what is covered and what is not. 
And then you just lay it back down. And just keep adding. The fun little elements and then it's clear all right so we're gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and keep I'm gonna finish that up to just get a little bit more of these rub-ons around just to get some more mixed media in the background because this see this is gonna sit like this and then you'll just see that right there the photo is gonna go here this guy's gonna go here I feel like we need to get and I'm gonna use all three of these red ones just so it doesn't leave like one random odd red one. And I'm just gonna trim this up. So are you guys playing along with a follow a sketch? I really like using sketches and as you can see, I mean really kind of let the papers do the talking. But at the same time, you know, I would have never put that band of paper and used up those branding strips. So that's always a good thing. Um, I feel like we need to get this one right here. Okay, so that one's going to go there. And then one more. I, I think it just needs to go down here. I think this... I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna cut it in half because there's no rules against doing that and we're gonna pop this one right there and then we're gonna take this part of it and we're gonna get it stuck right there all right so I'm gonna put those down I'm gonna get everything in here done and we'll come right back all right so I've got I got believe down here and a festive up here because I just thought it was, you know, we're going in a diagonal. It's kind of what I go with. Everything but all the little embellishments are uh, adhered down. So let's just start getting this stuff adhered down. Now, is this a sticker? I don't know. It's not, but we're just going to tear that off now because we've already ruined it at this point. I'm going to get a little bit adhesive on here. If you can hear the crunching in the background, Miss Maggie's got herself a little piggy hoof. So we're going to put a little Santa right there. Then we're going to put Believe right here over this little poinsettia. A little bit of festive right up here. Okay, and I like this if I do say so myself. Just want to use a couple pieces that I did pull out of the Oh, you know. <laughs> From the pocket cards. Otherwise, I sat there and fussy cut all these for no reason, and we don't like that. Hmm. Just rip that, you know, because that's what we do. Just get it tucked up under the. All right, and we've got deck the halls. I think we'll put that up there with the uh, festive. And I thought deck the halls was kind of cute because it was all decked out, right? And then we've got these two cute little stars. So I wanted to bring a little bit more of the yellow in. Just kind of pop it around. And then let's just put this cute little tag kind of right there. No rhyme, no reason. Let's just go in there. And then hello believe and hello December we'll put down here. All right, and I have this little for the record guy. So 
I'm just gonna pop him there as well just to give us something but none of these other items that I sat there and fussy cut I'm gonna use and then we've got stars so let's pull in some of these little lime green stars I'm just kind of sprinkle them around the layout here a smidgy bit I think they're going to be a cute little addition. That's what we got going on. As long as I can hold on to them. So yeah, guys, this is from the scrap room, and I'm absolutely loving these kits. Um, recently, you know, I'm on the Trace Jolie um, design team, so I love those kits. I really like the kits. It's it's curated. It's not just a collection. I get a sampling of some different things. Um, and you should see the February kits from Trish Shirley. You guys don't get in there and order that now. You don't know what you're missing. All right. So we've got that. Let, let, let me take a little looky looky. Ooh, I love it. All right. So here's our original. We totally transformed that into that. Um, basically, I got the idea. <laughs> basically, what I took from this is photo cluster strip, and that that was that's what I've turned it into. Which I'm okay with that. Like you know, not everything is always going to end up and be um, fabulous, whatnot. Um, I did not save any of the scraps, but that one because I won't use them, and they will just they make me they give me anxiety, quite frankly. So we're gonna stick this back in here put this back in with our big kit Ooh. quite possibly maybe no and don't forget to check you know what I didn't use I didn't use any mini paper pads on this I didn't even follow my own prompt well tis what it is at this point right um, so if you if you are successful and want to play along with my with the personal prompts to use up stash head to my facebook group and um i've got october november december january and february all listed so you can see and just kind of maybe pull from there and it was just a daily list that i've given myself to try to remember <laughs> when i do to use some stuff up so but i did get the monthly um personal product focus on there so that's fun all right Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to check everyone else out and I'll see you later with another video. Bye.